man, this guy has irritated the balls off me lately. So you are probably going to see me. I don't usually get too angry on here, but I fucking hate this guy right now. Uh, so Brother Martin did a very beautiful 45-minute tribute to his grandmother. He told stories of when he was a kid. He told stories about his grandma's upbringing and how she raised him You know, at certain points of his life. It was touching. It was, it was a really nice episode. And then... The motherfucker just has to ruin it. I'm the one, the stuttering fool that you want to make fun of. That's got a hot fucking wife. Okay, I'd rather stick my dick in a vat of boiling Freddie Mercury's blood than go anywhere near his fucking wife. And he knows that too. And I got that hot smoking fox that lives with me, that's married to me, that's been with me for 10 years, that rides my dick. All right, see your wife like that. <laughs> By by the grace of God, I, I've gained wisdom since then, and I've grown up a lot since then. But I wish that by the grace of God, he could gain some podcasting equipment. Where the fuck did he record this in the Grand Canyon? <laughs> and to the people out there that can't seem to stop talking about my hair, once again, <laughs> it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. You're just jealous because you don't have it. What the fuck? Well, first of all, you know, the reason why we talk about your hair is because if you look at the photographs that you use of your wife that you, you know, put a filter on because you don't like how her face looks and not in <laughs> nature, you and your wife have the same hairstyle. So that's why we make fun of you. And it's the fact that it's 2020 and you still have fucking uh, Def Leppard roadie hairstyle. <laughs> and we can see that you're going bald on top. So that's what makes it look even worse. You look like you're dressed up as somebody for Halloween. <laughs>